How's it going, you sexy beasts? I'm sure by now, you guys know what time it is. It's Friday. That means it's time for another fan-picked Friday challenge, the series where you get to suggest weapon setups, attachments, class, skills, or whatever else you can think of, and see if I can keep my KDR in a respectable range, hopefully above zero. Last week's episode was the Discount CQC Infiltrator by Mango K, which featured the Artemis Fully Automatic Scout Rifle for the Vonner Sovereignty's Infiltrator class. If you'd like to suggest a weapon or challenge for next week's episode, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below, and I'll choose one of the most upvoted comments for next week's fan-picked Friday challenge. I'm sure by the gameplay you're seeing, there's something seems to be a little... off. And you'd be right. Today will be a mark in the fan-picked Friday history, much like last week's Vanu exposure. This week's challenge is the first troll challenge, and I rather enjoyed it, surprisingly. It comes from Scarbs, and he states the Gangsta loadout. Only use the NC Rebel Pistol, because Gangsta's are rebels. With no attachments, Gangsta's don't need attachments. Play heavy with no suit slot, again, Gangsta's don't need suit slots, and try to protect the hood as good as possible. Would be fun if you could try to shoot from the hip as much as you can, since true gangsters don't need to aim. Pretty awesome idea there, Scarbs, and thank you for your challenge. I was honestly expecting to step into this and getting my face rolled across all of Araxis and just have a bad time overall. I have to admit, I did use the Shrike rocket launcher a few times since there were an excessive amounts of Maxes on the battlefield. There's no way in hell a pistol is going to be able to deal with them. The remainder of the setup that I had was default nanite mesh generator, medical kits for my utility slot, and standard fragmentation grenades. Closest Terran Republic and Vonner Sovereignty versions of the Rebel Pistol are the TX2 Emperor and the Cerberus. It's been quite a while since I actually used the Rebel Pistol, since it was so situational that it was utter garbage in comparison to the default mag shot. Even then, once the Nanite Systems pistols came out, and even later the Desperado, there wasn't really much room for the Rebel. Anyway, let's talk about the statistics of this pistol. It deals a maximum of 250 damage up to 15 meters, and falls off to a minimum damage of 143 damage at 60 meters. Its maximum rate of fire is 261 rounds per minute, comes loaded with a 10 round magazine, and another 50 in the reserve. The short reload speed is 1.5 seconds with a round still left in the chamber, and if the weapon is completely empty, you'll have a very, very long reload speed of 1.8 seconds. Vertical recoil pulls up at 0.8 degrees per shot, which is freaking massive, and has no first shot recoil multiplier. It has the very awesome 075 times aim down sight movement speed multiplier too, which makes strafing that much easier. Muzzle velocity is 375 meters per second, but that's not going to affect us too much since we are using a pistol. As I stated earlier, this is a first for Fan Picked Fridays since it's essentially a pistol only setup. Like I said, I was totally expecting to get about a 1 to 2 kill per 10 deaths, but oddly enough, that wasn't the case. I was able to sustain about a 3.0 kill death ratio, which with a pistol I thought wasn't half bad. If I had been running the Rebel on an Infiltrator though, I think I could have gotten it much higher. But as a Heavy Assault, I just felt like it was so humiliating to my opponents if I would take them out in a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight while they're unloading on me with a fully automatic rifle. There were far too many duels with Heavy Assaults that would end up on top with a massive grin on my face. There's nothing more satisfying than taking someone out with a miniature battle rifle while they're unloading a hail of bullets into your face. Surprisingly enough though, the hip fire on this pistol isn't half bad even without a laser sight. It seemed rather easy to pop some domes while hip firing and running up to an enemy, or just picking them off on the other side of the room. I have to admit that running around in massive firefights and taking out quite a few enemies with just a pistol made me feel like a badass. Couple the fact that the rebels firing audio sounds like a hand cannon, then you're sure your enemies know who they are up against. I just wish that, much like the Terran Republic's Emperor, that the Rebel didn't suffer the same fate. A reused model. There's so many reused models in this game, it just makes me sad that they did the same with most of the pistols. Now, as anyone can clearly see, we're obviously only using a pistol. That means unless you have aimbot accuracy and wall hack situational awareness, you're going to be at a massive disadvantage. And if you're curious, yes, I did rage a few times while going up against people with mini chain guns or even some Orions, but despite that, I still felt rather competitive. The overall ammunition reserve seemed to be my one weakness, though. 
It's a 10 bullet magazine with a 4 bullet kill, and once someone is 16 meters away or even has rank 1 of Nano Eve, it's a 5 bullet kill. So most of the time, I would have to fire 6 bullets just to make sure that my target was dead, leaving me with not enough ammunition in the magazine to take out a second of target were they to advance on me. Luckily, the pistol has a very short reload speed, but with any other weapon such as the Desperado, you'd be able to take out quite a few targets with ease within one magazine. Overall, this was a rather fun run solely due to the fact that I was expecting to get utterly destroyed on the battlefield. For whatever reason, I was able to hold my ground in toe-to-toe -to -toe engagements, probably due to the lovely nanite mesh generator holding my hand. Anyways, thank you so much for your Gangsta Challenge Scarbs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's Fan Pick Friday Challenge, and if you did, please give it a big Gangsta thumbs up. What would you guys like to see in next week's episode? Go ahead and drop a comment in the section below and state any weapons, abilities, attachments, or anything else you can think of. Remember to upvote any other comments that you think would be awesome to see, or are just plain badass, and I'll choose one of the most upvoted comments for next week's episode. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like these, then go ahead and subscribe. It's for Rizzles, Freezles.